Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on hex bin, uh, a kind of plot, different kind of plot. And it looks a little bit like scatter plot, but it's more useful than a scatter plot, especially when we have a lot of data. Because uh, when we have a lot of data, scatter plot kind of overlaps with each other and it is really hard to understand the data pretty well but in that in those, those kind of scenario hex bin works out very well and why and how i will show you now first import import pandas as pd import numpy as np uh i think that would be what df uh, pd dot read uh, csv uh, I will use the NHANES data set. If you have been following me uh, for quite some time, you know that I used this NHANES data set uh, for quite some videos. Uh, DF.head. Okay, let's see the columns. These are the columns. If you're not understanding the column names, don't worry about it. Uh, I will use only a few of them and I will tell you what they are. Okay, df dot plot dot hex bin and it takes x and y the something like okay it this is arm and this is leg arm and leg okay I will put the grid size twin this is how it looks okay now let me explain a little more grid size 20 it means uh, there will be 20 grids in the x direction and in y direction it will just adjust itself but if you want um, you can actually put 20 by 20 I mean, x direction 20 and y direction 20. If what happens then? Look, the size of the hexagons are not uh, very nice anymore. So um, that's why most of the time, what I choose, I put the uh, grid size in the x direction, and I I let the library choose the other one. Okay. So. Uh, why it's useful, I will show you uh, here. If you put the scatter plot using the same data, you will understand it better. Here is the scatter plot. If you look at it in this area, you can see it's very dense, but it is really hard to understand how many data and how much data are there, right? But here in Hexbin, you can see the darker color inside. It means there are a lot of data here. You, you can see the counts here, you know, it's almost like 100 data in these three. Um, and here probably 90. So in this area, you can kind of uh, estimate how much. And in these areas, it could be uh, the very light areas. It could be something like 30. And totally outside, it could be 20 somewhere. So you could kind of guess uh, kind of um, uh, understand in each hexagons how many data are there and but here uh, you can see all the data pretty clearly but in this dense area you you hardly know what's there okay so let's improve it a little more uh, how to improve i will uh, add one parameter uh, which one? Let's take this height. Height. Here is the height, and I will uh, use a figure size of eight by six, because I really don't know this. I really don't like this really small uh, figures. So here uh, is the hex bin now. So what this height means, here each point means 
in this point, each point means one count, right? Here is just one data, one data. So this is how it plots. Each point means one. And here, each point is it's not one. It takes a value from height. Okay? But and if you want, reduce C um, function. Uh, you can actually choose the mean or max or me. Uh, oh, it's underscore. So here it is. So uh, if you don't choose this, it's also okay to take uh, mean, but here the height, you, you can see the arm, leg, and the height. Okay. If you want, you can add a color map. I will put Viridis color map. Now here it looks like the dark, very uh, dark yellow color means height is really high. And you can see that the, it shows 190. Or if it's dark yellow color, it's more. 190 probably is 200. And when the dark blue color, it means it's low the height parameter is low and arm and length you can estimate by this x and y direction so here's the hex pin we want it thank you so much for watching that's all for today uh, i will uh, show you some other kind of visualization in my next video